High temperatures and low water levels are leading to some potentially dangerous conditions in Utah's waters. Yeah, we could see more algae blooms in our reservoirs. News specialist Mike Anderson spoke with a woman who learned the hard way the blooms can be deadly for pets. Mike. Yeah, Dan and Dini, you know, as you can imagine, a lot of people love coming out here. It's a big reason for living in Mantaway. Uh, but uh, right now there is a new uh, warning for an algal bloom out here. And Kelly Esparza is asking people to pay attention to that because almost a year ago, she didn't. Many of us want a chance to cool off, but there's good reason to check the signs first. We have swam here for years, and our, our other dog had swam here for years. Kelly Esparza says she had seen the warnings before, but didn't think much of them. Algal blooms are a fairly regular occurrence at Mantaway Reservoir. And I thought if I stayed in the parts of the water where you couldn't see the algae, I thought she would be fine. It worked for her older dog, but then Esparza got daisy. And she loved the water, too. And almost a year ago, at just five months old, Esparza says Daisy got sick and died. She ended up getting an autopsy, which she says found liver failure that her veterinarian says was likely caused by one of two things. And when he said blue-green algae, my heart just sunk because we had taken her to this reservoir here time and time again. And uh, even though the signs were there, even though I'd heard that there's algae, I thought we had another dog that swam here with no problem. Her warning today is simple. I don't want other people to make the mistake that I made. With high temperatures and lower water levels, the Utah Division of Water Quality is keeping a close eye on our major reservoirs, doing extra checks. We'll often see blooms starting around May, uh, but what we are seeing is that some reservoirs, uh, which typically don't have blooms until maybe September, October, already have cyanobacteria in larger abundance. They're asking all of us to be careful too. Don't swim or water ski in a bloom and definitely keep your pets out of the water. Our dogs are family. Yeah. Yep. And the Division of uh, Water Quality says if you still insist on going in the water, uh, make sure you don't get it in your mouth. And definitely after you get out, uh, wash your hands thoroughly. We'll post a link to their current list of algal blooms on our website, ksltv.com.